guys welcome to my home studio my name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos art videos recipes crafts mixed media DIYs happy mail and hauls and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video so if any of that sounds appealing to you I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel so without further ado I wanted to share my 2020 beloved Happy Nietzsche, Happy Planner, as it were. Some people call it a Bujo Nietzsche, a Fobo Nietzsche, whatever kind of Nietzsche. It's all good. <laughs> I'm holding it up like this because there is a glare for my light, so you can see it better. I have the Life is Lovely cover, and I have her on expander discs, as you can see because I like to bulk her up. This is where I keep my lists and I have taken everything out from the previous, from 2019 basically, and refreshed her as it were. So I have quite a few things in here and I usually have her in a cover which is downstairs still at the moment so that is why she is bare butt naked as it were just the planner and that cover i've shown in all my videos since i have it um is was gifted to me by the lovely jojo zahana here on youtube as it were so thank you for that really appreciate it so let's get started shall we and this has been so much fun doing this okay I've had a ball and what I've done is I've taken all different kinds of papers and I've cut them down I've laminated the living daylights out of everything I punched holes and made little cards like this one in the backdrop not this this is planner society and laminated everything these are target two target dollar spot pockets here and this is so cute I thought it matched well with her and I originally had this on here. So I can mix and match and interchange these as I like. I have not laminated this one. This one has a plasticky feel to it. So I will laminate it though because they just last longer that way. And I've made my own tabs. I've done a flip through of this in the past. I use craft plastic made by graphics on Amazon. You can look that up. Or look at my previous video and I've had this divider in here love this one and I made this it says eat all the cake and it's just a piece of um, a laminating pouch and I put a shine sticker studio sticker on it and then I laminated it and put glitter inside so I have quite a few of those and I have a target dollar spot pocket there to put it in this is a new dashboard I made as well and then I also used the Smeed cards that are business card size and I laminated a bunch of business cards some I laminated in the business card pouch by made by scotch brand and some I just put a whole bunch on a page like these ones in the background here and like this floral one that's behind this card and put them on a sheet and then just cut them out and just went to town and I used my we are memory keeper scallop punch on a lot of them see that throughout and this is one specifically for winter I love the snowmen. I think they are everything. So these I will remove once winter is over. We have her sitting here. Another one of these glittered um, stickers covered in a laminating sheet. Acetate and vellum throughout. This is my key and color code system. Table of contents, which I never did use because I made that in the summer. 
my year, be kinder to yourself, and then let your kindness flood the world. And that is a quote by Pima Shodron. 2021 year at a glance, 2020. And then my future log for 2020. And just a sticker I used there. This is vellum. And then I have a section for just different things. This is my monthly agenda, and I haven't made any of those yet because 2020 hasn't started yet. So I like to keep transparencies covering that. So I left those in there. And then this is graph graphics, craft plastic. It says weekly. This is my weekly section. Because I made all of my, pardon me, my own spreads last year. So, but this year I have this beautiful planner that is pre-made. And then it starts with January. And then I made this and I actually punched this in just with glitter and the laminating sheets and I used an Allie Edwards sticker that says details and this gorgeous girl from um, the LOL collection from Hobby Lobby and this is how the planner is laid out so it's like a bullet journal style and you don't have to use it like that but it goes 1 through 31 and it has the days of the week and that is how you do your bullet journal I do have my bullet journal downstairs but if you don't want to use it like that by all means you can just cover it up and then that's how the weekly starts so it starts on December the 30th that's the first weekly section okay but basically I'm just showing you my dashboards that I made in this video so but I did want to briefly touch on how this planner is set up so The actual guts of the planner from the Happy Planner. This says, making mistakes is better than faking perfections. And again, I have a Target dollar spot. And that card is laminated. That is Planner Society. And then I laminated this dashboard. It's a new one. This side. And then this one. Very sweet. That one. And I put several in there. This is just hooked in with the Target Dollar Spot. It says coffee time. And it's really shiny because it is glittered. As you can see, these are very simple to make. And it took me like a half an hour to get all the glitter for making all of the things that I was making off of this Heidi Swap mat because it is rubberized and the glitter just sticks to it and but it creates a glare when you're filming so that's the other side and then another one here I just think it's sweet, a sweet little touch, something different. And then JoJo made me this dashboard, and she had this, the sticker on it, and that's it. And so I covered it up with these laminated sheets, and then I changed them out. I had something different for fall on there before. And then this was from the coffee she gave me, so I like to remember that. So I keep that right there as like a clip. And then I've taken everything out of here. So this is my log section. It's a divider. Acetate. So this is set up the same. Monthly to-dos. Notation. Yeah, I just took everything out 
for the purposes of this video that I wrote on because I like to keep my information private. So, so when I say that I'm making a list and then I go in and I make a messy list somewhere else, then I'll go into these and write it out. Very neat. And they're like my master lists. But I didn't want to cover everything in sticky notes, you know. And then I just have a few different kinds of papers stuck in there. Brainstorm. But it's fun to make the dashboards yourself. I like doing it. And the original ones that I made, like this one, I did not laminate. Because there's only, let's see, like two of these pieces of paper left in there, I think. Or three. No, just two. Okay. So the business section. Social media. Household. But yeah, for things like this in my planner, I like my lists to be very neat. So I have a diff. I set up a different. I devised a different system where I can um, just take messy notes somewhere else and then when I'm ready to transfer them for different things into here neatly, I can. And I used a micro notes happy planner for that. Finance. Expense tracker, self care. And I do have a full planner um, in my Happy Planner Franken Planner for the self care. So these are just lists for me to have a place to have all of my master lists. Theology. Because I like having all of that information all in one place. So craft projects. Oh, I left something in here. I forgot. Okay. I do all different kinds of things, so. Very cute. But this year I have a specific um, art journal. It's my Hobonichi. I'll show you. My Hobonichi original. This is going to be my art journal, so that way I know exactly where everything is. So for this craft projects, just for lists, I'll use this. Odds and ends. And this paper is suitable, at least for me, for that kind of thing, for list making, because the paper is so long, it's perfect for that. So I really like it. And I've been in this since. I started mine officially in July. I started setting it up before then, but I just wasn't ready because I was setting up all my other planners, like my Happy Planner, Franken Planner at the time. So I started this one in July and joined the Happy Nietzsche craze, an obsession that's going started, which started back in April. I put a little plastic piece. This is a, not acetate, but it's a plastic piece from my Planner Society kit. So I just slipped that right in here underneath the laminated stuff that I made. Vellum and what papers and just different things. I thought it looked very cute there. So these, I have three pockets on here. And I can change these out. That's the beauty of it. I can take this out if I get sick of looking at it or this or whatever. But I definitely like decorating um, 
see there's more glitter <laughs> it just sneaks away its way back onto this mat as it were but um yeah in any event i just like decorating and i ha like having all of the different cute and this actually is a new one i laminated her by the way and i have one of these also in my happy planner franken planner that's bigger obviously because it's the classic size so but i think it turned out really sweet so that is my setup and so like i said i'm gonna try out this planner that i have and it's already set up so we'll see how that goes if i like it or not i can um use it sometimes and not other times or cover it or whatever the sky really is the limit so i'm gonna see how that goes for me but i do like the way i have this set up still with all of my sections for all of my lists i really like having that together all in one place so that is my little share and my setup for 2020. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. If you did, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel and I wish all you folks a very beautiful day. Peace out.